Hello everyone, it's Laura, how are you? Um, today we're doing some more modified balloons. So I have um, a container, a big milk jug container here, uh, half a gallon. And what I do is after I scrape my leftover paint from other paintings into a peanut butter jar, I then pour it into here so it's easier to pour from and easier to open up. So I'm just going to use some of that pillow here. And I'm not worried about how much I use. I make sure I use enough. I've found that this really helps with my painting because sometimes I'm stingy. And stingy isn't good with the blooms. You want to make sure you have enough pillow. So this is a great way to do it. Because you're not concerned about using brand new paint. So we're going to go with um, a multicolored modified bloom here. So this is uh, Liquitex Turquoise Blue. Pretty color. Really pretty on top of that gray. You know, I never use gray in my paintings and I keep thinking I should mix up some gray and use it as a color that I'm not trying to cover in a pillow that I really want to show up because it is pretty. This is uh, Quinacridone Magenta. This next color is this little piggy latte. Then we have a purple metallic. My new favorite, one of my new favorite colors, Cunag. It's Quinacridone Nickel Azel Gold by Golden. It really, it doesn't look like much when you put it down, but boy, when it spreads, it is gorgeous. Uh, this is Taffy. This is a beautiful, beautiful, bright, glittery blue. I don't want too much of that, though. It kind of takes over and goes wild. And then last but not least, we have Ball Gown, which is a gold interference. Okay, so we're going to take our black cell activator, plop it down there. And we're going to get blowing quickly, so we don't want that to sink. Oh! Oh! Best laid plans. I'm trying to not blow through my pillow. You just want to blow cell activator from back here over cell activator. Look at that. And um, get it going out over your color. Excuse me.
All right, we're going to let that do its thing. So I hope you can see well. That gold just slides, oh, that a ball gown just slides over everything. Here we have our cuneg. Um, we've got that beautiful taffy blue. Our turquoise is out here. What a beautiful multicolored bloom. And that quinacridone magenta has made its way out a little bit. So pretty. I really like this color combination because it's so iridescent. So let's get our little tool. Kind of give this some help out here. So it will move when we spin. I just grab a little bit of it. And now we are going to modify. Oh, I had a goober in there. Just getting these edges just in case they don't all spin off. And then I want to do this. And then I think we'll do another one going that way. Perhaps something coming this way. And... Good. You don't need much. And now we're going to spin. So now remember this pillow is my scrapings from other paintings. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is gorgeous. It's scraping from other paintings, so I don't care if I over go overboard on the pillow. But you have to be uh, make sure that you spin enough off. Otherwise, you'll get cracking and crazy. So, let's see what we got here. Get our little corners. That corner's good. That corner's good. Look at those colors. So pretty. And I think we'll do a second one. Since we're doing this. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Wait till you see it. So I did this on a white base the other day and it was pretty, but I really like it on the gray more because the colors don't get lightened up. Look at how pretty that is. And that cuneg, the, the Nicolazo gold is just showing up so pretty. I love that color. So now, of course, this wants to go walking away on me. Woo! All right, this is giving me trouble. There we go. Got it. Look at that. How pretty. All right, let me get that out of the way. Come back here. Look at how much paint you get, guys. Save it. Don't throw it away. So I'm going to scoop that into my jar. I 
And I'll tell you what, it really adds up. You end up with a lot of paint to use for extra pillow. Okay, next tile. Again, I'm not stingy with it because it's just extra. So I put down a good amount. Let's tilt that over. And by doing this, I actually learned that sometimes my pillow is just too thin, too, too runny. Let's, um, let's do a radial, well, no, we'll stick with the same thing. So the coasters match. I'm doing a street fair in um, a few weeks and literally thousands of people come to this. It's in our little hometown here. So I'm hoping I do really well with coasters. Everybody says coasters go well, so we shall see. Not too much cuneg. Come back with the taffy. And that ball gown just spreads over everything. That's this last color I'm putting on. It spreads and it gives everything a beautiful glisten of gold. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put our cell activator down. Want to make sure I use enough. And here we go. So we're taking this cell activator here and going across cell activator over cell activator out to the edges and I'm trying oh look at that look how their gold popped up gorgeous so I'm not going too far you don't have to get out to the edges Let's let that do its thing. Oh, this one's going to be gorgeous. I really love this color combination. So while I'm letting it do its thing, I just go back and close up my paint containers. Um... You have to be patient with the bloom. Now look at look at what's going on. Watch that. Those cells are all coming up. But it takes a little bit. So we're going to give it like maybe a minute. So we see that nothing else is happening. Be patient with your blooms. It's hard to be patient on these videos because I try to keep it moving for you. But you got to be patient. Let those cells develop.
So in the meantime, we planted a garden this year. And it got away from us. <laughs> Our zucchini plants were so big, we didn't... We missed some zucchini under there. I picked a 20-inch zucchini the other day. It was like crazy. So that one zucchini I used, I made zucchini bread. I made zucchini um, fratella. It's kind of like a potato pancake, but with zucchini. I made dinner with zucchini and sausage and... And I still didn't use the entire zucchini. Never seen such a big, gigantic zucchini in my life. It was crazy. Our um, green beans are taking their time. Rabbits got to the first planting. So we planted again. And so they're a little bit slow this year. Green peppers are delicious this year. And still no tomatoes. We're waiting on those. Well, there, there are tomatoes on the plants. It's just that they're not red yet. But soon, I'm sure. Okay, I think that's enough modifying so let's spin who else likes gardening I love it we planted zucchini and Swiss chard and um, woodchucks got into our garden for the first time woodchucks two big woodchucks ate it all And that's despite fencing. We put up like this plastic chicken, chicken wire. They chewed right through it. And I've never had that happen before. All right, we got to get it over this way. So I'm going to pull it towards me. So next year we're going to do something different because we have new critters around here and we can't have that. Look at... At, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. All right, let's get some of this and get our edges. Oh, pretty. Now, if you look back a couple videos you'll see something else um another video i did with similar colors but i did it on a white pillow and i really really like this gray pillow instead because it gives it a darker look how pretty is that so let's see what we got scraping my paint Saving it. Because look at this. Don't be turned off by this gray that ends up in your peanut butter jar of your scrapings. It works beautifully. Now, of course, unless you're going to leave negative space and you want white, then that's fine. But... If you're not, use this up. Okay. Ooh. Let me take you down and show you. Because I have such a hard time getting this phone off of here. Turn on the flash. Look at this. Look at that Koenig. The blues, the gold on top of everything. The magenta. What a pretty, pretty color combination is that? Isn't that pretty? So um, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Happy gardening if you're a gardener. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. All right.
Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.